Hello, my name is Tony Botting and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. This video discusses meshing tips for symmetric bodies. Oftentimes the resulting mesh won't be symmetric on a structure. Here is a dome structure with pipes and you can visualize the symmetry line across the structure. When you mesh the structure you can see some of the element vertices and sides cross the symmetry line. If the mesh is not symmetric, the simulation results will not be symmetric as you might expect with symmetric loads, restraints, and materials. If you do have symmetric loads and restraints, you can cut the body on this plane to enforce mesh symmetry and apply symmetry restraints on the cut face. However, there are cases when the loads are not symmetric such as here, but you would still want the entire body meshed correctly to observe geometric symmetry. We'll explore two cases of meshing, shell elements and solid elements. For shell elements, you can deploy a split line to force the element vertices and sides to lay on the line of symmetry, like this. Open a sketch and draw the symmetry line. Then issue the command Insert, Curve, Split Line. And split the surfaces where the elements will go. You will need to modify the shell definition, since now you have more surfaces to define for the shells. When you mesh, the shell vertices and sides lay exactly on the split line. For the second case using solid elements, you can split the component into two or more pieces along symmetry planes, then combine the pieces into an assembly. Here, for example, we've created two configurations on the same part to represent a right piece and a left piece. We inserted the same part twice into an assembly, activated the appropriate configurations for each half, and mated them together. The simulation tree now shows two parts. We'll use the default bonded contact to ensure the pieces stick together. When we mesh the assembly, you can observe perfect mesh symmetry on the symmetry line. In this video, we discussed meshing tips for symmetric bodies.